Hello everyone and welcome to Gospel Railworks. My name is James and today I'll be doing my first GWR review uh, the Grand Paris Castle class. Uh, before I get on about this locomotive let's go on about the product information which is, ooh, let's get in a shot, the product uh, uh, code is 372030 Castle class running number of 5044 uh, name is Earl of Dunraven GWR lined green and as you can see it is DCC uh, next 18 so it's very uh, got a lot of um, well, I can have a lot of excellent little fiddly bits added to it uh, for some of the ex little extras you get in the pack uh, which I'm not opening up uh, you can get little it's basically got extra little um, decorative hooks and stuff like that and also extra piping and little things like that uh, the manual which is uh, quite detailed, does explain about it. Uh, in the pack you also get uh, the Collector's Club and Warranty sheet of information which nobody reads. And inside you get this, uh, I want to call it a tri-colour uh, no, product information owner's guide. Uh, on page one you get uh, the accessories which tells you what things and where they go. Uh, running in, lubrication, on the inside you get uh, how to well, loop casing even more where the D DCC decoder lives which is inside the tender it's actually quite easy to pop off it's a uh, light squeeze pop it off and it's not any trouble like uh, dap old ones uh, then you put a next 18 decoder in and all the other lot uh, this has also got space for a DCC sound chip in and you do need a um, speaker to put in as well and then bit of warranties and parts and stuff like that so all that useful things but yes CWR and um, even though I'm a southerner I do have to mention that uh, well my dad likes GWR and also one of his relatives is, did used to work on GWR as well he used to be a uh, king of class uh, driver so um, yeah bit of backstory um, <laughs> But uh, you can get a King Class in N-Gades, but it's a rather dated model. So close enough, I'll get a Castle Class, which is another 460 uh, GW Loco. And uh, yeah, it looks rather nice. It's got very nice detail, and even though it's a rather new uh, N-Gades Loco, it's got this um, rather annoying front bogey which I, I don't like but I do know why they added it because it's basically it's the easiest way to add a front bogey really but uh, let's see the interior yep you have got a very nicely painted interior you got window glazing um, see the underside is very basic because no one's got to look underneath there I'll just try and get my hand out of the shot there we go just mainly wires and stuff like that. Uh, the coal is plastic, but it considering that that's where all the decoder is and the sound, uh, sound uh, space as well. Uh, on the back, you got the lining as well, and also I think that's an Ensign said uh, plate. Uh, you got the name board here, the Earl of Dunraven. Nicely detailed. Uh, let me just get the front. And also get the scales, which is over here. I did do a tidy up, but I forgot to get that out as well. Ah, that's turning on. I'll show you the front. And you got the running number on the ooh, on the front uh, buffer beam as well, and also some vacuum piping. What it looks like, but uh, yeah, you'll get a better sort of that on the turntable. So, uh, yes, the price of this was actually, I think I got a bargain, but we'll say it's probably about 140 as they normally are. Um, <laughs> I do know you can get a castle class, um, first of all, you can get it in many different liveries. Uh, one of them is well, various types of GWR, uh, you can get it in ooh, it is. Just before I go on about delivery, it is 67.5 grams, so it's a decent amount of weight. Let's take you off. 
yeah, you can get it in various types of GWI, you can get it in British Railways Early and Late Crest, um, also green. I think it's mostly just balls of green, I think. Um, I think you can get it in black. I think that may be... I want to say that's wartime. I'm not entirely sure. But, um, yeah, I'll have a double check of the price. But I think it was probably between 120 and 140, something around that range. I may have actually got it for a bargain, so I'm, I say I'm not entirely sure. But, so far, it's looking like a very nice Lyco. But... The only thing which I have to have an issue with is this bit. So I think the running board is the metal part and the rest of it is plastic. But uh, yes, it looks very nice. But uh, yes, let's get onto the turntable and I can tell you a bit more about the class in detail. Then we'll get onto the layout and then we can see how well it pulls uh, my test rake. So I'll see you in a bit. The 4073 class or Castle class were a 460 steam locomotives of the Great Western Railway. Built between 1923 and 1950, they were designed by the railway's chief mechanical engineer, Charles Collett, for working with companies to express passenger trains. The origins of this highly successful design date back to the Star class of 1907, which introduced the basic four cylinder. 460 layout with long travel valves and bell player fi uh, firebox that would become the characteristic of GWR Express passenger locomotives. Castles handled all but the heaviest of loads, these being entrusted to 30 King class, themselves being development of the castles with an even larger boiler and smaller wheels for both increased tractive effort and to allow loading gates clearance. Castle class was noted for superb performance overall, and notably on the Cheltenham Flyer during the 1930s, pulled by uh, Trigena Castle, covered the uh, 77 and a quarter miles from Swindon to Paddington, at an average speed of 81.68 miles per hour, start to stop. This world record for steam and traction was widely regarded as a astonishing feat. The last three castles to be withdrawn were all allocated to the Glossers of Said with Windsor Castle and Hereford Castle were drawn in June 1965 and the last to be withdrawn was Clun Castle in December of that year, which worked the last steam train out of Paddington on the 27th of November 1965. Eight castles survive in preservation. Well, here we are on my Bolton Port layout. As you can see, the castle class is sat very nicely on my outside line. And as you can see, I have got a test rake here of eight Mark 1s, uh, this time in BR Maroon, because I figured it'd be a bit more appropriate than BR Green for uh, a Great Western locomotive. So, um, yeah, let's get to test out this loco. Ooh, a quick word of note, I did check the price on versus Sheffield, and you can get this for £114.50 on their website, so I was a bit more closer with the 120 mark. So, um, yes, let's get this thing uh, tested out, as I have got my power on already. Uh, I have given it a run round the loco um, a few min moments ago, but it's not had a proper um, run in, but with just a few laps of the uh, line, Doesn't seem to be all that bad at the slow speed. This is on DC, so obviously on DCC you will get better performance. Also, it does seem that my outside line is a bit more cleaner than my inside line because I did try to do that one first. Anyway, let's have a proper go at going round. Also, I did forget to mention, has got NEM couplings, but all new Lycos tend to have them now. So anyway, let's put her up to a decent speed and have a go around a few times. I'm just gonna get rid of the roof here, just so it's a bit less in the way. There she goes. Yeah, 
and then behind the station there and through the bit there <laughs> yes he seems to be having a we have a nice time going around my layout now that I've moved on to the outside line <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring that to a stop and zoom out I'm gonna put it down at the end Okay, right. Hopefully, if I've got this correct. I can sort of turn the power off because um, so I don't blow up anything. Um, right, let's get this a bit closer. Put the power on, put it on reverse. And that seems to have coupled very nicely. Let's have a quick look. Does that look alright to you? Don't know why I'm asking you, because you'll be watching this well after I've uh, uploaded it, but um, Laco thinks it's uh, connected well, and that's put around the layout. Now, each of these Mark 1s are 25 grams each. And if I remember right, the Loco was uh, was it 67 grams, somewhere like that? So, she's nearly weighs as much as three of these coaches, so I'd say there's probably about three times her weight. Roughly around there, anyway. Because we've got eight, though, so. And she doesn't seem to have any issues pulling three times her own weight. And doesn't she look rather nice? Pulling those coaches. I'm sure my dad's uh, relative will be quite happy to know that you know, the GWR locos still seem to be good performers. <laughs> I'm going to let it go one more, uh, one more time round. Salt, unfortunately. And that is the Graham Ferris Castle class. Now, that is a very nice performance from her. And even though I have the slight mis uh, misgivings of the uh, front bogey, which I always have, even with the Southern Locos, which have them, uh, which I think is just the uh, uh, well, um, it's a navy, but um, yeah, other than that, I would recommend this Loco if you're a great Western fan. And if you're not a great Western fan, well, we'll have a look at the other, uh, uh, well, what the um, other companies have not for offer. But uh, yes, I would recommend this. It's very nicely detailed. Uh, you can get sound fitted inside the. Um, Tender, you can get a starter pack which has sound already fitted and two Pullman coaches. Uh, that's the Castle Pullman set, which is about £319 if I remember right. Bit pricey for a starter, but uh, yeah, if you're willing, to, you know, if you want something which is very nice and has bells and whistles and all that lot, it's, uh, definitely has bells and whistles with sound. That would be your best start. No, start for you. But for a basic pool, no, basic castle class, no, 120 pound, this will be what you should get. Anyway, it's been James and Gospel Works, and I hope you enjoyed this video. No, feel free to comment and like on the video if you want to. If not, don't. No. 
know, still thanks for watching the video. And also feel free to subscribe. I must remember all that one. <laughs> anyway, hope to see everyone next time and take care now. Bye bye. And let's say goodbye to the castle class. Very nice. See you next time.